Well, two years and counting, it has been an epic bull run from the depths of the economic crisis. But Charles Denner, one of the world's leading market analysts, says the bears are preparing to tear out of hibernation. Okay, so bears red in the claw. Is that going to be what we're headed for? I don't know. He says a brutal bust is ahead for the markets with the Dow eventually diving all the way down to 5,000, which is more than 1,500 points lower than the bottom we hit two years ago today. Charles is the president and founder of the Charles Netter Research Center. He joins us now to explain his very gloomy forecast. Well, let's not start to be very gloomy. Uh, what happened was we went long in 2009, in the first quarter, and we had an upset price target of 1356 on the S&P. So we're getting close. So I told my clients and pension funds and big firms and hedge funds to almost go out of the market, so almost totally out of the market. It doesn't mean we go down immediately. Uh, it can take a, a couple of months. And um, if we would close above 3056, which, which I don't think, then I'm going to change my mind. So we're pretty close, about 1% away. On the downside, if we close below uh, 1307, we're getting in trouble. And as you know, I do cycle work that predicts uh, if we're in an up move or a down move. And it looks reasonable stable at the moment. So what I think is that most of 2011, the gains have been taken. So why did Carl Icahn get out so quickly? Yeah, he got out yesterday he... out of that hedge fund uh, and essentially returned the money to the investors. Yeah, what do you uh, was make that of a him? mistake? Yeah, well, he's turning in his suspenders. What do you make of that? I wasn't in your competition in another network and asked me that question. And they said he there is no other network, Charles. You should know that yeah, there what's is that about? No. They said what are you that, talking about? They said that um, he said because he doesn't understand the microeconomics anymore. So tell them, give me a phone call so we can continue. But that's if I don't know. So he's out too soon, is what you said? No, no. But he says he, I don't understand what macroeconomic what's going on. Well, I think too with him, he was saying like, look, only twenty five percent of my investors are pu putting fees back toward me, and you know, why not I just give the money back? He's been at it for five decades. But what do you think? All right, I'm not so sure people would buy your totally bearish dropping to five thousand. But the question that I think they might have is, what would trigger it? Would it be an oil shock? Would it be inflation, an interest rate spike, or what? Last time I was on this uh, only network that yes. is, yes, um, it was from London, and. They kind of finish it depressed, so I don't want to depress you, but I also do war and peace cycles. And it shows that we're going to have a major war starting the end of 2012, 2013. And I think that's, that's going to do it. Wow. Well, the bears have not always been right, of course, over the past year and a half. There have been a, a lot of underestimating of how powerful earnings would be. That's where bears came up short themselves. They really underestimated the degree to which corporations and companies would be able to earn from consumer drive. They underestimated that. Did you as well? No, because I, I don't so much look at it. I just look at my targets. I developed a system that tells you the dates that things are going to happen and the targets. So we went long around 700 on the S&P. And we said the targets are 3056. So then, but aren't your targets influenced at all by uh, consumer demand and and in fact the the corporate profits? Let me put it this way: Who was buying the first quarter of 2009? People who understand what happens with dynamic yeah, but markets. Yeah, but David's point: Do you look at consider uh, corporate profits? I mean, what are you looking at that tells you, you know, hey, we're going into a bear run? And do you consider corporate profits? I don't consider because I don't know if people already take that into account. I, these days, I hear a lot: What if the Fed stops? In, in June, July. Well, everybody knows it, so it's a question that doesn't have any validity. So I don't look at it because the target is there, and uh, whatever brings us to that target will be in the newspaper. So right. sideward movement until 2000, then, and then Katie bar the door. It's yes, we're down, getting down, in trouble. Down. Oh, Charles Nenner, thank you very Charles much. Charles Nenner, president and founder of the Charles Nenner Research Center. It's so good to be with you today, sir.